Softly. Dinner? You pat your stomach. Vegetarian offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh hey, that one didn't do anything to me. You recovered 5 HP. Oh, that's awesome. Sweet. We found a faded ribbon. I do not know what that does. This is a little ghost food, huh? I fell down a hole and now I can't get it. Go on with that. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. We'll just disappear, whichever one is easier to animate. See anything there? Schmaltzies. All right, I've yet to use this float, but uh, I'm more and more curious every time I see it. What a meaningful conversation, Scorch. Being me is the best. Oh good. I I needed another Fresh morning taste. Parents can't talk. Okay, he insists. Ow. Uh, dinner again. I didn't try to eat vegetable, I tried to dinner, whichever one that was. See if this stupid spider down hook does something for me. Oh my god, that does more than I imagined or expected. Whatever, I'm gonna punch the stupid vegetable in its face and make it. Farm locally. <laughs> Very locally. Mmm. Part of a complete breakfast. Hiding in the corner. Bam. Alright, HP recovered. Yahtzee. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks location and perspective. Okay. It's a switch. Nothing happened. It's a switch. Press it? Yes. Nothing happened. Let's see here. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. You see full scumbags. Okay. Oh. It's a switch. Press it. Here it comes. Did I have to fall through the first two pits to find that, or...? 
Alright. Try the yellow one next. Nope. Okay. Right it is. Incredibly easy to fight those things. What the heck are you? Let's see what I can do first. All right. Well, finally, someone gets it. It's a hard knock life in the underground. It smells like eye drops. You can read this, press the green switch. Oh. How did you get here, my child? Are you no, I am fine. There, there, I will heal you. What, all two hit points I don't have? It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Urgh. Well, I suppose I cannot hide. Come, small one. I'm gonna go explore the other room before I stumble onto the clock. Whoa, sweet sword. Oh, that's disappointing. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool um, plant there setting. Ugh. Another save point. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you. God, everything gives me determination, doesn't it? Ah, do you smell that? Surprise. This butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time. Is going back out of the question? So I will hold off on snail pie for you tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. We had a really strong Pokemon vibe from this area. Old calendar from the beginning of 201X. These books are wrong, they must have been read many times. Seems like the right size for Torio. It's a history book. Here's our own page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of the human attacks, we retreated far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern zone. This was our new home, which we named Home. Beautiful, truly. Pushing the boundaries of your imagination. As great as our king is, he is pretty, pretty lousy at names. I'm glad you share my sentiments. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. <laughs> it's hilarious. The fire isn't burning out, just pleasantly warm. 
you could put your hand inside. <laughs> hey, kitchen. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There was some white fur stuff in the bed. Okay. Inside the cupboard of cookie cutters, and gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat though. Oh, I just examined that. <laughs> the stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Okay. Cool. This is a very chill song in the background. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Dude, this lady, this lady got me noodles for my room. It's awesome. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Oh, but Moogles! Of course they interest me. Get out of here. Kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. Okay, that's a pretty cool song, too. I want to examine the flower picture. Get out of here, shoebox. Empty photo frame. It's really dusty. I did not want to do that. Look at I thought the thing was a hat for a second. Brothers Cash Sun Pie. Thank you, Toriel. You're a saint. You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know it's Maybe like a cantaloupe. Oh. It's you. Room under renovations. I guess I can't walk in that one, huh? Story was dying. Read the circle of passage. Uh, I will in a minute. I'm going to check around the room before I betray this lady's trust. Just a little bucket of snails. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most. I have read so many TV tropes pages with this in it, but I never learned how to pronounce it. Sunbear? To Sundare? Sundary? Whatever. You peek inside. Stand it up. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Oh. Can't stop looking at the socks. That's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the door. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown. Oblong seed pods. <laughs> Known more commonly as water sausages. They are called typhus. Definitely bigger than a twin sized bed. Alright, story is that we need this passage. Yes. Why did the skeleton want to fight? Because she was feeling both. <laughs> Ugh. I love bad jokes. The rest are filled with jokes of similar caliber. Can I read more? I guess not. I'm gonna have to deal with the one time. I'm gonna go explore the bottom. Are those glasses? <laughs> okay.
What is down here? I think we should play upstairs instead. Uh, no, I want to see what's down here, lady. It's dangerous to play here. Why do you have a staircase to leading to a dangerous place, then? It's irresponsible. <laughs> we'll catch it. Uh, fine. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have some. Oh wow, those are glasses, I wasn't mistaken. There are so many old books I want to share. <laughs> I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I have also prepared a curriculum for your education. Oh. Wow, this lady is very go-be. 